Okay, welcome, Pack 1913. This is Assistant Scout Master Frank, or Mr. Frank, or Frank Capaldi. And we're going to do a project today. Hopefully, you guys and girls can do it at home. We know Mother's Day is coming up, so we're going to plant flowers today. So as part of a scout tradition, we're going to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So we're going to use old soda bottles, and we're going to make planters out of them. They're called self-watering planters. So therefore, you just have to look in the water at the bottom every day, and if you have to put a little bit of water in it, you can, but you don't have to water the flower every day because the flower is going to provide its own water through some yarn that we're going to place in there. When the flower wants its own water, it'll start sucking up some of the water from through the yarn and feed itself from the, from the roundup. Again, we're going to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We're going to use old soda bottles that can be reused over and over and over again. And then eventually, when they get um, used too much, then you can throw them away eventually. But right now, we're going to try to reduce, reuse, and recycle before we recycle properties. Okay. So, we've done this before. We did it years ago. So, this is the finished product right here. All right? So, it's just a normal soda bottle. Normally, would see a small one or a large one. We take the labels off. We don't need the labels there because we need to see what's going on inside. And what we do is we just cut it in half with a knife or a pair of scissors. So this is something that you need your mom, your dad, or you, or one of the adults to help you with. You don't want to use these sharp objects in your hands. All right. So you would just normally cut it in half. You see here, just cut it in half. And this is a larger soda bottle. And when you cut it in half, you take the top off cap itself and uh, your mom your dad or your adult person in your house can put a hole in the top and that's where the yarn is going to go through all right once you cut it in half you put it aside make sure there's no sharp edges on top because you can cut yourself with the top of the bottle you need to get some yarn or you can use a piece of cloth from a, a piece of shirt that you're going to throw away something that's similar to the material down here without one of our shirts which is a small piece of shirt and what you want to do is you want to take out about four feet all right, so you take on about four feet of that, and you're going to snip it, and then you're going to fold this over about two or three times. So make sure it's right in half. It's a little windy out here, so bear with me, scouts. All right, so that's one, and that's two. I'm sorry. Fingers don't want to work today. And, and that's three. All right, we'll go one more. We'll fold it over again. And you want to put a knot somewhere in there, just one knot in the, in the middle or toward the end. It doesn't really matter because as the plant wants food, it's going to be able to suck the water up. All right, it's called wicking. And it's something that we've talked about in the past. Uh, wicking is why we wear some of the material that we wear when we go hiking, some of the shirts that we wear. It will it will bring the moisture out or bring the moisture up. All right, so a simple knot like that, just in the middle, that's fine. All right, and then what we'll do is, we have a cap here already set with a hole in it. Okay, so what we did was we've got a pair of scissors and we put a hole in the cap. You're gonna put your yarn through that. Now this is something you need to do in an adult because it's hard to get the yarn through there without using a sharp object to push the yarn through. So let the adult do that for you so you don't cut yourself or stab yourself in the hand. As you bring it through, you bring it up to the knot, which is exactly what we have here. Now loosen that cap. So there's the string going through the cap and the string on the other side. All right? And then what you do is you feed it back into the bottle. Nice and easily. Have patience. So you have string coming out the bottom. And then you have string in the top. Now, it doesn't matter where the string is in the top. In fact, this one, you can actually see it. Because as the water hits the soil, it's going to settle down. All right? So you like the string at the bottom. So next, pre-planting, you already have some nice flowers or seeds that you can get. Now, you can get these at Job Lot for less than a dollar. By like 62 cents, like they get paid for these at the, the Home Depot. And there's probably 100 or so seeds in here. You can put a handful of seeds in there if you like. You could just need the four or five seeds. This one bag, you could set up probably ten different planters with four or five seeds in each one. All right? So you get your seeds. You make a little hole in the top of the soil. 
and just make a small cut in the bag. Oh, it's already oh, it's not cut. Okay. Small cut in the top of the bag. I'm going to put some seeds in my hand so we can get a picture of it. The seeds are going to look kind of funny because they're all different shapes and sizes, but there's all different flowers there as well. So that's all you really need. In fact, that might even be too many for this planter. So just grab a couple of seeds, five or six seeds. You're going to put them inside the little hole well that you did. All right, the rest of the seeds you can put to the side. And you're going to get the bottle and just don't pack it in too tightly. Just cover the little hole that you made. All right, so two things that are very important. First is you can use any kind of water. You can use tap water, which is fine. You don't need to get any special water. But you need to put water in the bottom, not all the way up to the top past the cap, but just past the cap a little bit. That's so the, the plant can suck the water up. But in order to activate the plant to suck the water up, you need to put water in the top as well. When you put water in the top, it's going to wet the yarn all the way down. Therefore, it's going to cause suction when the plant actually needs to feed itself. All right, so we'll just get some water. We'll put some water in the bottom. Now, I have a rock in here because we had to keep everything from blowing around, but you don't need to put a rock in here if you're doing it in the house. So a little bit of water there. The yarn will get nice and wet. And then not a lot of water, just enough to pack it down a little bit. And it's going to get wet inside the yarn and go all the way down to make the yarn really wet or the t-shirt that you use, whatever cloth you use. All right, so, and that's pretty much it. Now keep it on a windowsill, make sure you have it in the sun. Every morning when you get up, check the bottle itself. If you see that the water's going, put a little bit more water in. But like I said, don't fill up the, the entire bottom because the, the, the bottom will stay wet all the time. You don't want that to happen. You want to, to just feed it as you go. All right, and that's pretty much it. And hopefully by Mother's Day, you'll have something sprouting up. Now when it starts to sprout up, you may not get a flower right away because the plant may not have enough room to grow. So once it gets to sprout up, you get this nice little root ball inside here. You can remove it from here and plant it right outside your house. And now you have a plant and then you can reuse your flower pot. Again, we're gonna reduce, reuse, and recycle. We're gonna follow the scout rules. All right, then you can start all over again. Now we have a bunch of bottles set up. We're gonna be planting a bunch of flowers today. I'm actually planting some of these, uh, these nice looking flowers and I'm gonna plant some cilantro and some basil because you can eat some of the stuff you, you plant as well. So we're gonna do that. And we'd like to see everybody do this themselves at home with your parents or with your, your guardian or whoever's helping you out and we'd like to see what your progress is for the next few weeks. Thanks so much. This is again Assistant Scout Master Frank Capaldi from Pack 1913 of West Warwick. We're signing off. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.